Hello and welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Lon McCarron alongside Phil Galfond. And tonight we are bringing you cash game high stakes action from Poker Night and America's brand new venue, Studio 52. Thanks, Lon. It's great to be here. What a venue they put together. Absolutely. Depending on what you fancy, Studio 52 is very much a choose your own adventure kind of place. You can play your cards right and be stacking chips all night long, or you can also end up eight martinis deep at the bar doing a heart to heart with Joey Ingram out back by the pool. <laughs> heart to heart with Joey Ingram, highly recommended. Good point. All right, let's go ahead and have a look at tonight's lineup. In the one seat, New York Times best-selling author Maria Konnikova, followed by the runner-up in the 2012 main event at the World Series of Poker, Jesse Sylvia. He took home a knife's profit on the first time he appeared here in our debut. Poker night first-timer Darren Rabinowitz takes the three-seat. Darren has been crushing the poker scene for over a decade, lives here in Vegas. Joining us once again is popular poker vlogger Johnny Vibes, as well as MJ Gonzalez, who topped the leaderboard at the end of our first session. Finally, in the sixth seat, another poker night newbie, Cedric Trevino. If you're not familiar with Cedric, check out his social media. He is known as the Poker Traveler. It's a great lineup. There should be some very interesting dynamics on the felt tonight, so let's get right into it. So MJ will start with a full stack of 20,000. Johnny Vibes with 15. Cedric, yes, that is correct. Two R's in Cedric, 7,500 to the table for the Poker Traveler. He is always somewhere, Phil. He plays, he travels, he reports. And today he's here <laughs> at Studio 52. 25 $50, $100 straddle here and there. Good lineup. And then I only have one king left, you know. Only one MJ call. starting off with 10 deuce. Yes, the 10 deuce game is in play. Normally a seven deuce game in cash, but in honor of the late Tex Stolly, it's now a 10 deuce game. Maria Konnikova in there with ace eight suited. Very standard, she's in great shape against the 10 deuce. Well, she has become very big in the poker world, an author, wrote The Biggest Bluff, trained with Eric Seidel for a long time, and then she won a PCA event after that. So she's here to stay. Four players to the flop. Check. Bottom pair for MJ, top pair for Maria. Couple of misses. I'll check. Ace is up, crushing now. Big hand for Maria in this four-way pot. Yeah, I've spoken to her about it. She was interested in poker, intended to write the book, didn't expect it to become a, a long-term thing like it has, but she fell in love with the game. I actually read a book of hers before I knew she was in poker about Think Like Sherlock Holmes, which has a lot to do with poker, as I read it after the fact. It really does. Here, MJ goes for the half pot bet. It's so called by Marie with top two. There was like a and uh, she's heading into the river in great shape. Five of diamonds brings a lot of draws in. And MJ with his 10 deuce and the bounty, he's got to want to try to win this. That's actually crazy. He won four 10 deuces on the last game. And now trying to go for five. 5,000 into 2350 over two times wow. hot. He is saying ace eight is no good. He's saying I have a straight or I have a flush. And Maria with a hand that looks great, but keep in mind when MJ is representing it, mm. a better hand, she doesn't block a straight, she doesn't block a flush. Oh, baby. <laughs> is it, uh, she makes the fold. What's the bounty? Actually, to the okay, it was so 200 it was like, 200 from each. We pretty much made it, like, are we good with 100? Really kind of have to learn how to play is MJ you Gonzalez you when you come here to Studio 52. No, okay. You do, he's playing a different game than everybody else. This time Maria with the 10 deuce. Okay. There you go, Maria maybe gets some money back. Will everybody else be Darren Rabinovitz, good player, <laughs> oh, three-time World Series of Poker circuit it's ring like winner. It's crazy that you, you like say something out loud and it's like, it's like you attract these things. <laughs> I'm not going to get money from MJ. Cedric, the poker traveler, comes along. Dominating Maria's 10 news. But... Oh, hits his king. Tough sledding for the 10 news here. Did you guys get a gerbil yet or what? Yeah, you gotta keep trying to bluff no, here with 10 deuce, but 
But you're, you're not you're, likely to work against King pay. Ten. You know, pass it When's down the last time you sat at a poker table and somebody said, "Did yeah. you guys get a gerbil yet?" I like it. I'll it's you uncle. know, it's been a minute. Been a while. <laughs> that's, that's a good roll. Yeah. I've been actually well, gonna Maria to took a shot. It. Yeah, my wife and I are talking about it too. Yeah. No pair, no draw. Will That's a she thing. just wave the white flag or no, I mean, we she's determined like, to get those bounties? I think it's like a... She's peeking at her chips. That's usually a sign. Where it's like, yep. Right now it doesn't 700 feel great, more. Yeah. But like we know that like in 10 years, it's probably a good decision. Yeah. Like who the hell's Not going to get it done yet. Let's see what the river brings. <laughs> <laughs> the payback. <laughs> the payback. And my dad used to love throwing that at me. He'd be like, you know when I'm... Incapable Trey of hearts, mm. she has no yeah, heart in her hand. And you would have, right? Yeah, I definitely would have. Exactly. Or I would be, but that guy's. You know, she wants to win it. She wants to win this 10 deuce. For their entire lives than I will Maria's be. very logical. She's yeah, thinking, I know I want to win this, but yeah, is it worth like, this try? She bought it for 10K. Already lost one hand with the best hand. You don't work out and stuff? Was that? I'm sure you lift and. No, I do a little bit, but. They're just, my mom, like, she comes out to visit. Betting 2K. Take she's saying she's walk. got a they're, little bit better I've never than King seen 10. Dogs with more mm. energy. Bit of a crying call. Like three, two hour walks 10 deuce oh, doesn't oh. work. And two hands. 10 deuce is not treating Maria very well. Not very at all. Good try. <laughs> well, not the ideal start for Maria Konnikova, but if there's anyone who can make the mental adjustment and turn things around, it's the Harvard grad. She also got her PhD at Columbia. Ah, all right, the Harvard and Columbia grad, back after this. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Bet Rivers. Welcome back to Poker Night in America and Studio 52 here in Las Vegas. And tonight's hand du jour certainly has been the 10 deuce. Market price, 200 bucks, paid by each player anytime one of their other players wins with the Doyle Brunson. Back at Studio 52, Poker Night in America, Cedric, the early leader of almost 3,700. Maria has lost more than half her stack already. This is the third round. Yeah, it's a Western Conference Okay, 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 okay. That's why I'm losing it. Straddle. Oh. I was going to Straddle, Jesse. Yeah, I assume you're on every time. I almost just grabbed off your stack, but I didn't want to. I've seen one card for what Johnny Vibes, latecomer to poker, made a name for himself. Here's a raise. You got to make it 3x. MJ has pocket jacks. Especially in position, you know. I didn't know he got hands this good. Exactly. Or there's some advantages to 4x. If you consider pocket jacks. Maria has a good hand. Okay. King Queen suited. I really like this shove, especially knowing how loose MJ has been playing. How much money is that? But this time he has jacks. But you know what? Maria's got 48%. She's got the king of hearts and the queen of hearts. Maybe she can make something happen. I don't like it. I'll tell you that. No, you don't. I don't like it at all. Nobody likes jacks. So do you say we run it once or twice? Do you he has run an it ace, twice? He has an ace nine. That's what he does. Uh, I'll, you choose whatever you want. I don't I care. I always run it twice. I don't give a shit. You got like an ace nine, right? Twice? <laughs> MJ, you We're all going to die anyway, so it doesn't matter. You go with twice? Whatever you want, my dear. <laughs> twice, always. Two times, I said? Two times. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Somebody just ripped it on me. I forgot we were playing the game. That's all MJ. Who's the winner of this board? Huh? There's a king from Maria. Do we know the winner of this board? Oh, wow. Really? I'm happy to show. Uh, whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, I, I have the second noted. board. I have King Queen. Uh, oh, I win both. MJ wins them both. Well, you do win both. Sorry. <laughs> are you going to come back to Texas, man? The flip goes MJ's way. Maria takes it in stride. Let's have do it. I had such a good Maria, time not going there. anywhere. She reloads. Where in Texas are you from? I live in San Antonio. It's like an hour and a half south of Austin. Yeah. So it's easy for me to get between the two cities. San Antonio is a big enough city where you don't have to describe really where it is in relation to a bigger city. Been all around. It's wild there's like no Tesla chargers in San Antonio. I have one really, really close to my house. There, I mean, there's a couple on the north side. And what's the deal? Yeah. Texas Hold'em is still not really legal in Texas. It's kind of a gray area, right? It just doesn't seem right. I don't yeah. think there was anything downtown either. Yeah, nothing downtown. Yeah. 
Johnny Vibes, Pocket Queens. No three bet from MJ with the five four suited. Just gonna. Is uh, are the, the canals small, considered real touristy? A small pot here. Like, do you guys go hang out at the canals ever? You mean like the river down down? Yeah, 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 yeah sorry, yeah. the river. Uh, yeah. No, so. MJ will stick around. Top player, so like, loves the high stakes. Like Poker coach as well. And with no pair, no draw on this flop, a board on which almost every hand either has a draw or an overcard. This is pretty extreme from MJ. Yeah. MJ looking for a six to make it straight. But he'll try to win it here. He's hoping Johnny Vibes has king high, ace high, queen high, and he can just take it down with a bet right here. It's just like there's a sort of like a downstairs area like right on the water and there's restaurants down there and then there's like the upper area. And I, I oh, with two queens, he's not going anywhere. We do boat yeah. rides around. And the river like runs straight through downtown. So Third port? Yeah. all yeah. the historic downtown hotels and restaurants all border the MJ river thinking from. maybe Johnny Vibes has ace 10, so like 10, maybe he's got uh, ace four of spades and he'll just river. hold this yeah. river. It's like, it's Quick call from eight, nine. Johnny Vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, I was going to say, that's not 8-9. <laughs> that was said like a black yeah, little we'll smile. What's your dog's name? Luca. Luca. 2.8? He's uh, three years old today. Oh, happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday, Luca. Oh, happy birthday, Luca. <laughs> ah, and welcome to the game, Jesse Sylvia. 250. 250 is it? Pocket aces against 10 deuce, the two best hands at uh -oh. this game. Just call. Rabinowitz, 10 deuce. I like the just call with 10 deuce. You don't have to three bet it every time. You can give yourself a chance to win it post flop. Kind of looks more credible. Mm hmm. All hearts out there. My favorite for photo. Gut shot for Darren, middle pair for MJ. I like Sony for video. Aces are still good. But then it's now going to start going for it with his gut shot. Against 300, I don't think Jesse can consider folding aces. But he doesn't love this flop. Ah, Darren gets there with a 10 high straight. There's more than one way to win with 10 deuce. Mm. Is this a snap fold almost? Almost a snap fold. Great fold, Jesse. Yeah. Doesn't need to give it much thought. Did not like that seven. Don't go anywhere. More from Poker Night in America and Studio 52 in just a moment. All right, so here we are with Nick McBroom. He is the chef and owner of Indulge Catering. Nick, can you tell us a little bit about what you got cooking in the kitchen? Uh, so right here we have a little uh, bruschetta, tomato bruschetta. Um, right here, a little tomato watermelon gazpacho with some avocado and uh, balsamic reduction. Uh, right here, a little chili con queso, kind of crowd favorite. Super simple, delicious. A um, little bacon wrapped shrimp. And right here we have a nice chipotle aioli to dip it in. Teriyaki chicken wings, grilled of course. Um, some nice squash medley. Um, right here we have a nice prime beef tenderloin. Uh, nice medium rare as you can see. And then right here we have just a little bit of uh, dessert. So some chocolate tort, some nice New York style cheesecake, and red velvet cupcakes. Welcome back to Poker Night in America and Studio 52 here in Las Vegas. And tonight's hand du jour certainly has been the 10 deuce. Market price, 200 bucks, paid by each player anytime one of their other players wins with the Doyle Brunson. Back in Las Vegas, Poker Night in America at Studio 52. Cedric, the poker traveler, has almost doubled his stack so far. Maria looking to get back in the green. Wow, Johnny, we have basically the same thing going on. We've been together for 12 years, we've been engaged for six. <laughs> basically the same thing. I don't know if it's actually been six, but. Ten deuce again for Rabinowitz. I've been married for longer than you guys have been together. Really? Been married for 13 years. Congrats. I got married very young. <laughs> yeah? How old are you? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to play that game. 
we're you got married young. I mean, yeah, probably we're on a, a, you probably have a Wikipedia page. No, I actually, yeah. actually. Oh, fair well, for MJ, no, I open it as well. Ten deuce mm. is middle uh, so pair. Benno is going to fire out a bet here, see if his hand is good, just protect his hand a little bit. Of course, yeah. Probably not looking to build a bigger pot. King of spades on the turn. very happy with that. Someone put some random, like... Someone put something random and Queen's up for MJ. My, my age is wrong. I, 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 I don't We've got a straight my age is wrong online on the well. board. Yep. King high straight for both players. Will one of them try to represent the ace? The number oh, one MJ folded. Jesus. I didn't think a 1K bet would get it done, but MJ had a read. This time it wasn't correct. <laughs> Throw the man 200 more. Actually messaged me like bartender, chef here, Studio 52. Ago, nice yeah, vibe like for the players, like for the folks hanging know, out. They are now with Kings. Ten deuce for Johnny Vibes. Just calls after seeing that work well for Darren. I will He's got the suited variety as well, a little more playability. Yeah, he seems okay. Is that a way to check? Oh no, this is, no. Five has to decide when he just misses everything if he wants to start firing here, and he does go for it. Kings with the king of clubs. Sure, come along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really connected turn card. Does your husband come out? Johnny Vibes doesn't series, every series? have much in the way of outs. No. Gonna keep going for it, keep representing this board, no. thinking he's up against maybe an ace king, ace queen. Had, um... See Darren's look? He's like, really? Really? I've got kings. Oh, you switched it to here. Nice. All right. <laughs> That's a horrible board for kings. It's gotten uglier and uglier. Yeah. Johnny Vibes with 10 high. Yeah. Johnny Vibes with 10 deuce. With 10 deuce. deuce. <laughs> More importantly. 4,000? Okay. So you just have that more Boom. Than anywhere else. Okay. Which we do. Yeah. I mean, we have. Really tough spot to find a call with kings here. Yep. What part of town He's got the king of clubs. Uh, Matters a tiny bit. Just off stroke. What? Just off stroke. He's just asking himself. You know, how does Johnny Vibes get here with a hand that needs to bluff? Ooh. He's going to get his answer. Got to show it. <laughs> Look at Darren. He's beside himself. I got a very lucky river card. The 10 Deuce Extravaganza will return after these messages. Back at Studio 52, Lon McCarran, Phil Galfond, Cedric the Traveler up almost 7K. Maria stuck in that hole. Massachusetts sucks and Bostonians are. Oh, we're, Bostonians are definitely, but I, when I lived there, I enjoyed it because it's kind of like a, a thing where we're all like in it together being or something. Jesse Sylvia, always talking. One of the nicest people I, I, in the game. I there, I he really is. Said, I find it funny. We're lucky to have him. As an ambassador in like poker. Sure. Absolutely. But I was like, they're way meaner in Boston. Yeah, Bostonians. Suck. Any vibes, ace, queen, offsuit, MJ Gonzalez. 10 no, 9 suited, two very good hands. And we're going to yeah, see the flop okay. in a three bet pot. Really? MJ is the aggressor. I don't know, I've never lived in New York, but I mean, it's a, it's a huge difference. let's put it this way. Oh, wow. Place. A flop straight, an open ended straight flush draw for MJ. <laughs> Does it get any better? It doesn't. Let's see if MJ. Let's see how MJ wants to extract the maximum. Yeah, it's tough. We had the Starting with a bet of 750. Do, you don't have to continue here with ace queen top, without a heart. Do, like, a little bit looser call, but he's up against a loose opponent. And we'll and MJ now improves to the queen high straight. Johnny Vibes drawing dead. Then, uh, actually Ashley, like drawing dead, but turns top pair, top kicker. 
in the and summers. And that's going to get him in some trouble. The vineyard? Yeah, it was great. 1875. Just hang out with friends. From and there. MJ's style really coming back to roost. You just never know what he has. He plays so many hands. Like, you haven't gone out there? No. Oh my God. Ace Queen offsuit here. You're, you're feeling pretty good about yourself on the turn against MJ. Like, people are just so cool. I really want to go. I wanted to. Uh, and the straight turns into a straight flush for MJ. <laughs> Maybe Johnny Vibes can save some money here. Like the year before COVID, um, when I was like the last, I guess it ended up being the well, last time seeing millions, but we didn't. It's going to go for all of it. It's an over bet. Just over 15,000. 10 deuce off with the 10 of hearts. I could beat that. Ooh, wow. Ace and a queen. Johnny Vibes in the blender. It's a very tough spot. You know, there's like all this stuff out there. There's, you know, the 910, of course. There's the hearts. I only have one pair. Like under normal circumstances, you just you toss it in the muck for a 3x all in. But this is MJ. This guy plays million dollar pots and he's like, he doesn't want to tell me what to do. Oh, it's very close. I mean, I feel like I should just call. But I knew I was going to be in a spot like this against MJ. Big payoff by Johnny Vibes. MJ Gonzalez shows us how he builds a stack. And then I was in a DJ drummer thing right when DJ AM passed away. Mm, what a legend. Um, me and a DJ from San Francisco <coughs> kind of took over all the clubs in San Francisco. It was fun. Was AM from San Francisco? I don't know. Mm, I think he was LA, right? He was playing in LA a lot. Is that where you're from? Uh, I'm from San Francisco, yeah. Rabinowitz in there Not with King exactly 8 suited. But around there. It's a nice uh, hand. Vallejo? Opportunity it's, knocks to the rest of the table. But, MJ folded. Do you want my social security card too? Where is in the straddle 7 6 offsuit? <laughs> this is a hand that doesn't play well, but against one opponent raising in late position. I was trying to be generous. With some pot odds and feeling generous. Darren with trips. Maria, open ended. Would you, have, would you have felt real bad if you went all in though? I'm not saying you would have folded, but you would have felt that. I would have felt shitty. Stomach, yeah. Folding for Maria. Is she going to raise or call? She goes for the raise. Yeah. I like this line. Less so <laughs> when you're up against trip eights, though. We signed up for the pain. Uh, my mom lives in the city. Hmm? My Maria. mom lives in the city. Looking for help. Oh, okay, cool. I, I was born out there. Oh, and she gets there with the straight. Gotcha. Goes from semi-bluffing the flop to figuring out how she can get value here. She started this hand with about 6,000. I don't know, you might have said no to my question. You were just planning to like snap Darren, it off. Darren, suddenly a four to one dog. Still liking his hand with trip one eights and even I... if he is behind, was that he's gonna have his outs. Yeah. Like, okay. like he does here. But that particular hand, I... Maria leaving herself with about a pot size bet left. Zero. Shove the river. Perhaps let it die or Blank on the end. There is the shove. There is the call. There is the double up for Maria Konnikova. And that look from Darren Rabinovitz again. He doesn't like losing, does he? No. There is plenty of poker left to be played, so stick around because Poker Night in America from Studio 52. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Poker Night in America and Studio 52 alongside Phil Galfon. I'm Lon McCarran. Let's get back to the action. Two winners so far here at Studio 52. MJ over 16K and the Poker Traveler up almost 8K. We didn't really get a spring out here. Tough times lately for Darren. He's got the straddle here. No, well, I used to, um, but now that I am based in Vegas and not in New York all year, we're like all over the Place. Love 8-7 suited. Yeah, in New York. Oh, that's funny. Don't mind Queen Jack suited either. Brooklyn. Brooklyn? Mm-hmm. Can I ask what But yeah, we spent, yeah, Prospect Heights. Um, okay, cool. We used to, like, 
really just stay around. So MJ three bets this yeah, one. It would take so much to Expect get Johnny them. vibes to continue no, like here, either with a call or a raise. Uh, we live in Brooklyn. Usually a call, but, uh, which is what he opts to do. How long is the? But now that, but now that, like, like, like I said, now that we're actually like living in Vegas and only in New York. <laughs> Johnny hits that flop. Yeah. Like Eights and nines <laughs> now. Yeah, yeah. He checks it. Because no, you really want it, like you want. Yeah, yeah you want excited. everything. Yeah. Exactly. I love that. MJ with plenty of equity here. I don't miss He's the gonna way. go fire out of bet, see if he could take it down against and yeah. like ace yeah. five it's spades. It's true, Anthony like, dealing the cards tonight. Thank you, Anthony. Like, cause I, I love walking, yeah. and that's like the thing that I actually dislike the most about Vegas. Like, there's ridiculous hiking and ridiculous outdoor stuff to do. But Johnny like, vibes check call with the eight. Very standard from him. Yeah, yeah. He's still good. Yeah. He's still good, but he does not like this ace of diamonds turn. Does MJ like it? Let's like, see. I, just, I like like being in the middle of stuff when I walk outside. Yeah. He knows an opportunity when he sees it. I love that so much. Yeah. We were saying so Philly like, a few years back. That's the thing that I like. Andre hasn't seen many turn cards yeah. he doesn't like. Mm -hmm. No, that that's huge. Especially Big bet here, and you're in a tough spot with it's like it's just, just so an eight, cool no flush draw. Shop, get a coffee and yep. then, like, walk around. I don't know. I miss that a lot. This is a hand you'd usually lay down. You know, there's Johnny vibes. Like, doesn't believe MJ just yet. I love Makes a good call. I, I wouldn't have been able to move to Vegas if they didn't have like really great food, right? Like Vegas does have amazing food. Another diamond sushi, on the end, which is like my main thing. I just realized but, like, it's actually pretty sick that you move. Board keeps getting but, scarier well, and scarier for Johnny Vibes. Yeah. yeah. But, At this point, MJ has to be a little bit worried. Yeah. yeah it's they both are. Check, check. It's no like diamond. Johnny Vibes will take it. Get a little money back from MJ. Like, I've been to like Uncle Boone's. I think it's really far up there in Thai food, okay. for sure. But it's just in that general vicinity, so it's like, man, there's a lot of cool stuff happening in that area. 250. For sure. 250. Like so much pocket nines are, are worth these days. Yeah, we've never gone because oh, every and time five tray. Like, so did. Apparently. Yeah. He is on the button against the cutoff. This isn't as, uh, as wild as we've seen from him before. But still a little on the loser side. Still wouldn't be approved by Andre's solver. Jesse will interrupt his conversation yeah. Yeah. briefly with Maria to call. Or something, but I'm not even 100%. We've only had dinner there. Johnny Vibe's still good. But MJ likes this flop. Factor hearts to go along with his open ender. And he's going to bet it. Jesse missed. Oh, more than 10. Goes so back to his conversation. The best, right? let, it, let the record show that I. My called favorite, my favorite sushi very sushi quick fashion. Johnny Vibes announces snap call. <laughs> Park it down. <laughs> MJ with the straight. MJ makes more hands than the Bonaveri Mannequin Company. It's definitely highly. Well, you is very expensive, right? No, I mean, it's not that expensive. MJ was thinking really? of a turn. Yeah, like it's. Very and that was it. I went to Yui when it first Six of hearts. Looked, Not betting too big, doesn't want to scare Johnny then, Vibes off. I looked at the prices and I was like, I'm getting the most expensive chef station. And, and if you're Johnny Vibes here, you're still liking your hand. MJ could be value betting a hand like sevens. He could have six, five. It doesn't even need to be a bluff for you to have the best hand. So easy call. MJ with a redraw to another straight flush. Oh. Yeah, you don't want the steak and stuff. Will this scare MJ off? That is the question. He now loses to any deuce, any four. But no, he he knows where he's at. Puts in the bet. We'll collect an extra one k. <laughs> and he's shaking his head as we are. Love. Oh, put the, how is that the four of diamonds? Yeah, MJ runs so bad. He hit the four diamonds, not the four hearts. That should have been a heart. It was brutal. Actually, I can try like a little bit. Good players get lucky though. No what players going like for, but then like I can't eat, like I don't want anymore. You know? Yeah. No, I don't know. I love. <laughs> you're like you're insane. <laughs> it would actually be really hard if I had to decide between giving up steak or oh, fish man. for some reason. I had to. Aces. Is... I mean, for me, that's not a choice. So Sevens. I like fishing, and I think I'd probably stick with Maybe MJ doesn't know what to do with with big I hands mean... pre-flop though. This might get him in trouble. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't fish, but I love, I mean, sushi is like my main food. Up against two low pocket pairs, that's <laughs> not where you want to be with aces. No, like I eat, that's what I eat the most. Oh, wow. Cedric is happy he didn't hit the road with seven. Seven's full. This is one of those lose a big one scenarios. 
And there's like a lot Trivino, of Trevino, yeah, just with I'm a just, small I'm bet. Honestly, like, easy I'm call from MJ. Like, really? I don't need, yeah. You would actually probably eat very similar though. I don't know. I could never be vegan. How many diamonds are in this deck? So it does seem like a few too many. I think it's 15, <laughs> probably. Trevino checks back the turn, like what kind of opting dairy? to represent a hand like sixes, nines. <laughs> I love Thinking MJ might have some floats, like queen 10 that might be able to bluff the river. It's not a huge pot, though. It's not. Yeah, I just eat mostly sharp cheddar, and it's not an issue anyways. Can you eat, like, pasta with parmesan? <coughs> Cedric is going to make uh, it bigger. Yeah. It's not that, that he is. The interesting thing is, had he just like bet, turn so bet river, like aces would never go anywhere, but here he's kind of representing better. MJ wants to see it. He knew it already. Sadie. Wow, someone beat you. Ooh, Maria was paying attention. Don't go anywhere, folks. More cash game action from Studio 52 after these brief messages. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Bet Rivers. Welcome back to Studio 52 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Alongside Phil Galfond, I'm Lon McCarran. Let's get back to the action. There, there is a number. MJ and Cedric continue to ride high. Johnny Vibes is the giver tonight so far. I got a bet with you if you want. What's that? You have to wear the same shirt every day. You can never take it off. So for one this, year. This bet's called my life already. <laughs> you can shower with it on, you can blow dry. You can oh, do, you have to wear the same shirt? You, have to wear, you cannot take it off. How much I get a day? We'll just book a number for it. I know a few poker bet, players like that do that. Yeah. Like free roll well, you know what, if I, did I don't think they're getting paid. I would totally make merch sales with that shirt. How yeah. do you win? You're just free does rolling he get to, Does he get to pick the... No, the we're pick betting game? if you can do it or not do it. Oh, for a year? Yeah. It's called a prop bet, Jesse. Does he get to pick the shirt? Yes, of course. And can he put something else over it? Oh, uh, you like can't even have sex with your wife with your no. shirt off. So, like, he has to wear the shirt. Has to wear the and shirt. Nothing no, else. I don't think that was a problem. He can like wear a, pants yeah. and underwear <laughs> or something like well, that. Well, no, I mean, like, can he put on a jacket? What if it's, it's freezing outside? outside? I can't. Well, you got to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go golfing. You got to figure it out. You can pick a golf shirt. So, no layers. Like, you can take a shower that's with true, it on, wash it, blow dry it. Any other item of clothing? Sounds like MJ's had to do this. It does. He's got the strategy figured out. It's, it's a little cold here. Yeah. As he that? opens with nines, gets three bet. NGMI. By Rabinowitz's yeah, yeah. kings. I thought you said yeah, NTMI. I'm sure we'll no, see I a flop NGMI. here. I mean, okay. just under 85. I could almost make it, but it just gets cold here. It does get cold. Oh, yeah. Rabinowitz, 8K. Yeah. No, that's why I asked. Or so in his stack. See, if you let me wear it, like, on the outside of a sweatshirt. Nines call against kings. No. Oh. Welcome to MJ's house, ladies but and you gentlemen. Could, you could get, like, I'll let you do rest. that. You can wear a sweatshirt underneath it. Yeah? Yeah. But you can't take the sweatshirt off. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, never mind. I can't do that either. That's actually worse than just wearing a t-shirt. It is. It's going to be really tough to get away from kings here. You want a car? Yeah. You want a car? Almost no matter what happens. But let's see if Darren finds a way. MJ slow playing. I just can't wait to see the look on Darren's face at the end. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it a few times. Oh, he does have the king of spades, but doesn't help him. But in his mind, maybe that helps. Probably. MJ keeping his bets modest. But then it's got to think he's good here, but I don't know if he wants to raise kings with the king of spades. Doesn't need much protection. I mean, that's, what, just that's what I have to do, right? I have to go somewhere that's warm year-round. Mm -hmm. And then, honestly, I could just be that guy who swims in the ocean in his T-shirt. Yeah, the guy. most insane farmer's tan? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You ready to cue the eye roll? That's what I was thinking. I could say, yeah, and just not go out for, like, four months. Dude, if I could wear this T-shirt for a year. but I think we're going to see a big bet here. But I, I don't like the whole, that's all you can wear. Darren's like, come I this far. Sure that, sure. No, MJ thinks you can get more. For sure. I could do it. For a year. I actually think I could do it because I like my body chemistry is so like non all I never in sweat. Yep. I'm like always chill. Yeah. You are always chill. Like you know you can wash it like while wearing it. It's like he like, expected it. Yeah. He's over the eye roll. He like, is, he wasn't surprised. And like 
It's not where you want to be. You want to still be in eye roll territory. Right? Absolutely. You <laughs> if you're just giving your money away <laughs> happily, it's seven hands on him not your game. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, he, he played more than 20 a year, I bet. Because Three nice hands here. That's like at 30 hands. Average? No, I bet he averaged out 20,000 a year for his yeah. career. And an okay hand. Yeah. That's, um... I can be so stone at, dumb right now. Hard to make a pair right here. That's only a thousand hours. Five at, uh, players gonna see this flop. Twenty hands an hour. You gotta be cautious. I, I Five white pots heading to the flop. Is that only twenty? Darren hours can run drinks for the table during this really? hand. Oh boom! MJ got the worst of it. Trip aces yeah, with a bad so. kicker. Cedric with the best kicker here and the ace. Pots. Neither of them wants to bet. Let's see if Maria wants to try to protect tens or if she's expecting to be up against a better hand often enough. Yeah, two aces out there. Nobody else has one. She clears the field other than the two players who have her beat. Yeah, I didn't Trippino, understand Perhaps considering that. a raise here. Oh, sorry, you're he doesn't need oh. raise. He only knew. I don't play Badesi, Badusi, that's for sure. Maria wisely gets out of the way. And MJ. Tournament. <laughs> he really doesn't enjoy Show, show, show. Wow. Wow. Throws his hand away, demands to be shown. Okay, that was impressive. Like a at he just you know, showed the A's. It's what? Does it matter which one it was? Yes. You pulled it in. It eight? does. And that's a play to remember. When you see MJ putting in a bunch I, I, of chips and all I'm of these other hands. Comedian fan, so I definitely understand the one There's nuance. The he end. picked up a vibe, and it wasn't from like, this guy. I don't want to get too into this on here, but I feel like. Meanwhile, working, vibes picks up 10 deuce, kind of draw the line raises like, it up. MJ career, shows up just in time to call with King Jack <laughs> Osu before running away again. <laughs> like, like you said, with like, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Maria yeah. wants to play for more pocket queens. Or their personal life, I guess. But As would I. Your career is not really. Johnny just wanted to see a cheap flop with 10 deuce. You get in these weird spots with 10 deuce and 10 deuce game where you're like, well, I don't want to just give up, but to win this spot, I'm going to have to put in a lot of money. It doesn't really feel worth it anymore for the 1K in bounties. 36. Oh, all right. It's going to go the other direction. Don't worry about me, guys. It's going to try to win it. I never have anything. MJ, how about I negotiate? Okay. That Maria, who for started three months of the year, I get to wear the t-shirt over a sweatshirt. I can only so take out the t-shirt to the size. on the sweatshirt. I can't like... As far as whether to get it in pre-flop or not. The t-shirt will say whatever you want on it. With 8K, she can just rip it in comfortably. For a smaller number, you got me. With 18K, you just, just call. Yeah. She decides to just call. I really want to have to go this way. For 11K stack. Be a part of this wedding. Hmm. Danger for Johnny Vibe. The hits. Top pair, which is no good. That's top pair. This is What's kind that? of good news for Maria because she's yeah, less likely to be bluffed off this hand. There's a bet. And there's the all in. <laughs> How much more is it? I have 10 deuce. <laughs> Keep in mind, Johnny Vibe still gets the bounty if he wins this hand with 10 deuce. A little bit better pot odds than I mean, it looks like. You just have it, obviously, but. You got me for 100,000. <laughs> There's the call. Once or twice? Whatever you want to do, it's fine. Twice is fine by okay, me. No, no, like, I have uh, a 10 and a deuce. I, I just like kind of assume you're Two not going to put anything like No racist, nothing, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. nothing. It's interesting like, strategy here. Like I think you put with 10 like, deuce, you actually want to write it on there. That's a good turn. Because you're not going to win the bounty, you can chop. Very good turn card, Jesse. Oh, wait, if win you, uh, number uh, one for Maria. No, because I lost the first run out. Scooper. How much is it? 74. 70. Maria's back. One last commercial break, but we will be back with more poker before we wrap things up for the evening. Welcome back to Studio 52 in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we've got a new player joining us at the table after Maria Konnikova had to dip out a few minutes early. MJ. Oh. Almost 24K, Johnny Vibes down around 25K. 
Boston Jimmy taking Maria's seat in seat number one. I honestly think it was the worst buyout in prop bet history. Yeah, but he could have been just dead, you know? Dude, any time that I thought he was dead, he literally asked his boy to play Dr. Dre and he would stick his head down and keep going. <laughs> the whole bit was he could Yo, the Dr. Guy's a motivate you. He's a mutant. Jax, Dr. Johnny Dre will get you going. No, you couldn't stop for more than two seconds. Two seconds, right. So, like, he must have just been dying. Ace three suited. And Jay Gonzalez raises it up to 1100. I'm so surprised he didn't do it. Yeah. And, uh, she's like Tough me night for Johnny Vibes. I'm not sure Jacks like, are going to be the salve. Boston Jimmy with Ace King suited. Let's see how he wants to play it. What do most people do with Ace King suited? Yeah. Johnny Vibes is just under 15K deep at this point. It's an awkward stack size to have with Jacks here. King Queen suited or something? MJ knows ace three is no good here, but does he think he has the odds to call and try to flop something huge? Acting very distressed about an ace three suit. <laughs> he does not like it. For 4,100, he does lay it down. He wants to see a flop, though. He does. Maybe he had a feeling. Let's see. Nope, he was wrong. Johnny with the flush draw. Top, top for Jimmy. A little bit of an uncomfortable flop for both of them. They've got about a pot size bet remaining. Owen? Yeah, Owen. Jimmy's gonna put that in. Mm. He's Johnny. Very interesting mm -hmm. club. Jax, you're thinking, well, if I'm up against aces or ace king with no club, I have the right odds to call. If I'm up against ace of clubs with a queen, I'm ahead. But if I'm up against aces with the club, I'm near dead. Can I grab one of those as well, actually? Oh, sir. Can you get one too? I there, you're not in the hand. Ones. Get up. I actually think I have to call. Are, are they right here? I can grab them. There's too much money in the pot. He's acting sorry. Yeah, and I have yeah. a club. So it's always too much money in the pot for Jax. Uh, twice, twice. You got something? Twice. Call and running it twice. Gonna run it twice. Actually, almost a flip here. No longer on the Jack. That is a very good card. God, how badly did you not want that river to be a club? Right? <laughs> I mean, I'm not pick, I'm not choosy right now. First board to Johnny Vibes. Jimmy looking to fade a club or a jack on the second river. Well, King's up for Jimmy. Take your money back, boys. It'll chop it up. What the fuck was I doing in that hand? In the end, it was MJ Gonzalez once again finishing atop the leaderboard, clearing over 21,000 in profit, followed by Cedric Trevino in his Poker Night debut. Maria Konnikova dug a hole early on, but she persisted and finished in the black. Another rough session for Johnny Vibes after running into MJ Gonzalez's straight flush. I give him props for going with his gut, though. Darren Rabinowitz finished down nearly 17,000 as well after getting some truly frustrating runouts. If you want more Poker Night, be sure to follow us on social media for highlights and exclusive hands of the day. Plus, you can find all our episodes and our 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube, Twitch, Flex, and many other services. Check PokerNight.com for details on where to watch. Also, don't forget to download our free poker app with regular sweepstakes contests, all new game modes like blackjack and slots, and it's all totally free. Search for us in your app store and download it today. For my co-host, Phil Galfond, and everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Lon McCarran. Thanks for watching.